Friends, here I am going to tell you all about the electronic configuration of elements by using a Bauer principle that is SPDF ruling. As it was seen earlier when we were studying about Niels Bohr's electronic configuration, we have seen that electrons were arranged in certain shells like there were shells namely first was named as K, second as L, third as M and fourth as N. But after a few times a bow came. He told that electrons are arranged in their sub shells as every shell in an atom contains sub shell like there is K shell then it contains one sub shell that is S. When we talk about L then there are two sub shells that is S and P. Uh, moving towards M, it has three subshells S, P, and D. And finally, N contains four subshells S, P, D, and F. Here, S, P, uh, D, and F are certain blocks. If you will see in the periodic table, there were certain blocks like here the first block contains S, and that will uh, here it was P, the middle one was D, and finally that was F. Then don't relate this from that. There are, these are subshells, but there were the blocks in the periodic table. In shells, like according to the Niels Bohr's theory, we have seen that K contains two electrons. K holds two electrons. We have seen as we do electronic configuration of elements like uh, uh, helium, we do with atomic number two. The electronic configuration is simply two, and this was the K shell. But if this increases, like if we move on towards carbon, atomic number 6, here then we do 2 and 4. Here K is this and L is second one. So we have seen that K holds 2 electrons. So this is that only K holds 2 electrons. Now we simply, do, so, so we can say that S also contains 2 electrons. S holds two electrons. Now in L we see that here S was containing two electrons and it is repeated in this only. So in this L it holds total of eight electrons we have seen but but S holds two electrons. So we, will, we can easily find the number of electrons in P that is eight minus two that is equals to six. So P holds six electrons. Now we talk about the D, D in third one, I mean in M shell. Here S holds 2 electrons, P holds 6 electrons, then D will hold 10 electrons. As total electrons in M were 18, we have seen. And in N, we talk about N, then the total electrons were 32. Here S contains 2, P contains 6. D contains 10, then F will contain, so you can find it, 6 plus 2, 8, 10, 8 plus 10, 18, 32 minus 18, that is equals to 14. So F contains 14 electrons. So we have seen here that uh, S holds 2 electrons, P holds 6 electrons, D holds 10 electrons and F holds 14 electrons. You can see here there is something like a pattern like uh, if you see the difference of electrons in this S subshell and P subshell then the difference comes out of 4 electrons and if you see in the P subshell and D subshell and again here the difference is of 4 electrons and then uh, similar here also D and F there is a difference of 4 electrons now what you have seen if you are remembering the number of electrons in S then you can easily find the number of electrons in P, in D and in F So till now we have seen about the number of electrons in different subshells that were S, P, D and F. We have seen S holds 2 electrons, P holds 6 electrons. 
and d holds 10 and f holds 14. So now we will see about order of filling electrons in subshell during electronic configuration. Here I have written electronic configuration in short form. Don't be confused for that. What I will tell you that you have been told about the order like we do electronic configuration in this way. 1s, then 2s, then 2p, then 3s, now 3p, then 4s, then 3d and so on. What does this is? This is a pattern in which we place electrons. Like I will tell you the example. We have to remember this pattern as when you will do the electronic configuration. In short time, I will tell you about how it is done, about how this pattern is obtained during electronic configuration. Firstly, we take the example like if we take off argon. Suppose we take argon. Atomic number 18, it is an inert gas. We do electronic. Then you can see here 1s is there. We write 1s simply. And if you remember, then previously I have told you all about s holds 2 electrons. That you can write here 2. This indicates the number of ele electrons. This indicates here the number of electrons. This is the principal quantum number. And this is the subshell name. About the principal quantum number, I will not tell in so much detail, but I will use few times this word and it doesn't matter too much in doing the electronic configuration. So let's proceed. After 1s, there is 2s. We will write 2s. Then s holds 2 electrons, as explained. We will write 2. Then here is 2p. 2p we will write. And p holds 6 electrons. Then we will simply write here. 6. Then uh, start counting. Remember that how much electrons we have placed from the starting one. Like here we have 2 plus 2, 4 and plus 4, 6. That is equals to 10. Now we'll move towards this. 3s is the 3s. It holds 2 electrons. Uh, 10 plus 2 equals to 12. Now we, ha we are having 6 electrons remaining. So we will put that 6 electrons completely in this last orbital. Now till we have obtained, we will, if we will sum the electrons, it will be equal to 18. 2 plus 2, 4 plus 6, 10 plus 2, 12 and plus 6, 18. So this is equal to this, 18. So this is the electronic configuration of argon we have obtained by SPDF ruling. Now if you take the another example, like if you take, uh, suppose we take Magnesium, suppose we take magnesium with atomic number 12. The same pattern is there. We will write firstly 1s, the number of electrons in the S subshell, that is 2. Then 2s, 2 electrons again. Then 2p, 6 electrons. Now count the number of electrons, that is 2 plus 2, 4. And plus 6, that is equal to 10. Now we are having 2 electrons remaining in the next uh, means subshell to be filled is 3s. Now we will write here 3s and 2 electrons, it is fixed. So this is the end of the video. I will explain you all why this pattern is obtained by we fill electrons in SPDF rule. In the second video, I will upload in short time. You can check the link for that uh, video in the description box down below. If you are having any question, then you can put it that in the comment section. I will answer that surely. Thank you.